everyone, it's Miss Jody from the Santa Clara City Library. Today I am craving more sweets again, so I thought we could make one of my favorite Chinese desserts. It's steamed egg. It's fairly easy to make, but we do need a few special um, items to help us make it. So first off, uh, the ingredients, we just need three things. We need some type of milk. You can use uh, lactose-free milk, regular milk. Or whatever you prefer and then uh, sugar and one egg and that's about it uh, for the special items we need we need something that uh, we can use that's steamable so for me I only have these um, little teacups that I'll be using for this recipe and then we're going to also need a mesh strainer something like this any type that has like the little holes we're gonna we're gonna want that for this recipe. All right, and let's get started. All right, so our first step is to find a small type of saucepan like this and put it on our stove. And then we're going to turn on the stove to around medium to medium high, depending how comfortable you are working with milk. Uh, milk does bubble pretty fast and it does explode uh, really quickly if you're not careful and you're not sure how to work with it. So work on it on a lower temperature if you're not comfortable. Then we're going to get two thirds of the milk, whatever milk you're going to use, and pour it into the pot. So we're going to let the pot heat up for a bit. So we're going to occasionally stir the milk to make sure it's heated evenly. And then we are going to add two teaspoons of the sugar, so two of these small ones. Here's one, and two. If you want it to be a little more sweet, you can add a few more teaspoons of the sugar. I don't really like it that sweet, so that's why I didn't add too much. And then we're going to occasionally stir to make sure the sugar dissolves into the milk. Okay, so while we wait for the milk to heat up, we're going to do the second part. Alright, so part two, we have to get the egg ready. So uh, we're just going to need a small bowl to put our one egg in. We're going to crack it right into it, okay? Like so. And then we're going to mix the egg yolk and the egg white together. You can use chopsticks to do this. You can use a fork and you can use a whisk. It just depends on what you're comfortable with. I'm just going to use uh, some chopsticks and I'm going to go in. I'm going to pop that yolk and then I'm going to make this up and down motion. So I'm going to take my chops to go down and back up. And that's how I'm going to mix my egg yolk and my egg white. If this is too hard to do with chopsticks, like I said, you can use a fork or a whisk and they both will come out the same. So all I'm doing is I'm taking my chopsticks from the top of the egg, pull it down and then bring it back up in this circular motion. And we want it to be mixed in super well, okay? So that way our steamed egg will come out even color. And so we can do this while we wait for our milk and sugar to mix together. And sometimes you can take a break from this to go back to that and make sure everything is mixed together. Okay, so once the milk and sugar 
uh, are mixed well together and then you start to see kind of like these small bubbles that's when we're going to turn off the heat and take the milk and sugar off the stove okay so it's kind of like this right now Okay, so I took my milk off the stove and now we're going to add that egg mixture. So this is how it should look like after you've uh, mixed it super well like that. And now we're going to add it in. We're going to make sure we add it in super, super well. So I'm just going to go in circles like so. Yeah, so we want it kind of nice and mixed, so you get like an even light yellow color like that, okay? Alright, so the next part is we're going to take whatever you can steam uh, your steamed egg in. So you can also use like ramekins and stuff like that, whatever you have at home. I just have teacups, so we're going to go with that. So now we're going to do one at a time. I'm going to take my mesh strainer and have it right above the hole where I'm going to pour my mixture into. And we're going to be very careful because it can spill. If you have a smaller mesh strainer, that will work a lot better. This is all I have, so I'm going to use this one. So I'm going to... Sorry about that, I'm always trying to move it so you have a better view of what I'm going to do. So I'm going to pour it very carefully through that hole, through the mesh strainer. Like that. Don't go too fast, just take your time. What it's doing is going to catch that slimy part of the egg and not let it through. Kind of see how it just sits on top? So what I like to do is I like to do a little bit in each one and then go back a second time to fill them up to however much I have. And like I said, go careful, there's no rush to doing this. You want to try to even it out, you know, get a nice amount in each one. So why we're removing that slimy part from the egg is because it's going to leave some weird bubbles in our steamed egg and we want it to have a more consistent um, texture throughout the egg. All right, so now we're gonna take away our pot and our strainer. So now we're going to take small, uh, some small pieces of foil. You're going to obviously cut it to the shape um, of whatever uh, is holding your steamed egg. So I cut it to the size of my teacup. Then we're gonna wrap each one like that. This is going to help us capture the moisture when we do the steaming process. So you want to make sure it gets all the way around like that. We don't want any holes in it, okay? Alright, so there's going to be two methods. I'll show you guys how to steam the egg. If you have an electric steamer like I do, you're going to add water into your compartment. Um, it doesn't really matter how much you add because uh, a lot of it will evaporate and you do need a little bit. So at least uh, 
little over a cup, but um, obviously you will know how much your electric uh, steamer will need. Oops. All right, I'm gonna show you guys uh, two different ways to steam uh, the egg. Uh, if you have an electric steamer like I do, you're gonna set it up and then you're gonna add um, water into the bottom compartment. Uh, you want to add a lot of water because um, during the steaming process you don't want to run out of water because then it's just heating up dry air towards your item. You don't want that. So um, if you want to just fill up to the max line and then put the items in, that's fine. Or if you know how much water you normally use, then you can gauge it that way. So you're going to put the plastic part on top and then you're going to take each one and kind of spread it out. like so then you're going to cover it like so and then you're going to turn on your timer and you're going to do it for about 10 to 15 minutes depending on your electric steamer so this is the first method of steaming all right so my steamer is done so i'm going to open it and take off the cap. I did leave it in for a few minutes to let it cool down so it doesn't burden my hand when I take it out. So I'm going to take, oh it's so hot. I'm actually going to get a towel to protect my little hands. And then I'm going to take each one out gently. And so the next part is you can either let it cool down to a lower temperature and then eat it slightly warm or you can let it cool down all the way and then put it in the fridge overnight and then eat it tomorrow. And just to show you guys what it looks like on the inside. This is what it looks like after it's steamed and then you know it's good to eat. So I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe and I hope you guys like it. And like I said, if you guys want a little more sweet, you can definitely add another teaspoon or two to your liking. And um, yeah, usually I eat it cold so I totally recommend letting it cool down and then putting it in the fridge overnight and then eating it. Or you can wait like one to two hours depending on your preference. Alright, I hope you guys have a wonderful day.